Some of you already know, I love making controllers that are a bit out of the ordinary, like this tiny keyboard and mouse that I use to play Minecraft, and this one-handed gaming controller, which I use to win in Fortnite. Oh my god, yes! Yes! <laughs> but this got me thinking, why are we still using this ancient technology that was invented back in 1963? I shouldn't have to limit my hand to moving only in the 2D X and Y directions. It can also move in 3D space in the Z direction too. Like what if, just hear me out, we replace these with a glove that works like a mouse, where my hand would have all the freedom to draw and play games in the 3D world. So in this video, we're going to replace our computer mouse with a custom made glove and explore all the different possibilities using it. We'll also test how well our new glove performs compared to a gaming mouse and see if we can use this new glove as our daily driver. We'll start off the video by doing some research so that I can steal, I mean learn from past projects for a glove controller design. I found some interesting projects that use a glove as a computer mouse where they've disassembled the mouse and placed the optical electronics into the gloves. It's a fun idea but not what we want for a glove controller. We want to get away from using these optical electronics. Hmm. There was one project I found on YouTube that did exactly what we want for a glove controller. This glove can measure the hand movement in the 3D space using a sensor which has both an accelerometer and a gyroscope, something that we'll also use for a glove design. However, I couldn't find the design files and the firmware online, but this isn't an issue for us since we can just make one from scratch. All the fun is in building the actual thing anyways. Uh, wait, hold up. Let me just get my mouse. Bruh. I still need this to edit my video and finish up the engineering work, but you'll be replaced soon with a glove. To prototype the electronics and software for this mouse glove, we'll be using an Arduino with this sensor, just flopping around like this. Bruh. The sensor has an accelerometer and a gyroscope inside this chip, and we technically only need the gyroscope to detect our hand rotations to control the mouse cursor, but we'll leave the accelerometer in our project for future development improvements. Liar. To get us started, I found this open source code that works out of the box where it can visually show us how the sensor moves into 3D space. I won't go into details in this video of what you're seeing here, but here's the basic summary. This this sensor would normally be attached to something like a drone flying in the air and will use the angles of yaw, pitch, and roll to describe the sensor orientation and how it's moving in the real world. With some simple lines of code, we can use this angle information to see how much rotation occurred and convert that to mouse movement. Check it out! I can look around Minecraft and I'm not using my mouse. I can look left, right, up, and down. So we now have a method to move our mouse cursor using this sensor, but we just introduced a new issue. What happens when our mouse cursor reaches the edge of the monitor, but we need to move the mouse even further than the edge for FPS games? Let me out! Let me out! This is not a dance! Normally with the mouse, when we reach the edge, we would simply lift it and center it back to position. And we obviously can't do that with our sensor. Well, I guess we could keep turning the entire sensor along with our body with the risk of me throwing up while I play games. A better solution is to mimic the mouse lifting action with this button. When this is pressed, the sensor no longer moves the mouse cursor and we can reposition the sensor to any orientation we want. And once the sensor is in the desired position, we can simply release the button. We now have all the necessary electronics and software to make the glove controller. And the first thing we'll do is attach the three buttons to the glove. One for left click, one for right click, and the last button for the mouse lifting action and disabling the sensor. I originally planned to 3D print some supports for these buttons and then place it onto the glove. But because I'm a lazy piece of shit, I'm just going to super glue them. Now I know what you're thinking. Why aren't we putting more keys like our one-handed gaming controller on our glove? Well, that's because- Can you touch yourself? <laughs> well, that's because we're only replacing the mouse and not the keyboard. We'll still be using the keyboard when we play games. Now, as for the sensor, we don't want it to be loose after attaching it to the glove. And I think these two sets of bolts and nuts will do the job of securing it into place. Ah, looks like one of the capacitors is in the way. Well, I'm gonna desolder that and hope it's not important. Perfect, fits right in. And lastly, for the microcontroller, let's just glue it on. Bruh. Glue seems to work fine for the buttons, so why not use it for the micro? And now, we just gotta finish up the wiring. I'm making sure to use extremely flexible wires, instead of these thick header wires, so that they don't move our sensor when we start rotating our hand. Alright, it's looking good. Time to test drive it. Let me just put on my glove. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wrong hand. There we go. Let's hop on Valorant and test our new glove at the shooting range. Here we go. Bruh. Huh? A 
few moments later. Wow, that was terrible. After some testing and playing around with the glove, I noticed some jittering every time I pressed the middle finger button to shoot. And I swear, it's not because of my five cups of coffee that I had today to finish this video. Ah, much better. Whenever I press this button for the mouse left click, the sensor on the glove moves slightly, which is enough to throw off and change the entire aim. To help with this issue, we can use the thumb button as the left click instead of using the middle finger button, since this button has more bottom support and doesn't move the sensor as much when pushed down. To further help with this issue, I've bought some keycaps which will reduce the total distance needed to push these buttons, and in turn, this will reduce the sensor movement. I've also programmed some filtering for the sensor signals, using the weighted average method to make the mouse movement smoother, like Nibbles' brain. Bruh. Let's retest our aim with all the new fixes. Much better. By the way, while you weren't looking, I took apart an old mouse from our previous project. And then, I added a scroll wheel in our glove and programmed it to work with our Arduino. Alright guys, that was a lot of work. I'm just gonna take a real quick break on my laptop. Huh? Alright guys, I think that's enough building for this video. Let's spread some managed democracy with their new glove controller. FYI, I just started playing this game and uh, explosions hurt. Oh crap. Too close. Oh what the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh crap, oh no. I screwed up. Bruh. All right, here's some gameplay with their new glove controller. Uh, here's a backpack for you. Got Sweet. And here's a gun. Thank you. What the f- What <laughs> <laughs> the hell happened to you? I forgot there was a rock, rock in front of me. No, and he threw a grenade in it. Yeah, I threw oh, a grenade. No, no, I heard what you said. Yep, thank you. Thank you. I'll be so there, yeet. Yeah, we'll have- Yeah, I got- Oh, I got the re oh nice. <laughs> That's the thing they face. Oh crap. You guys good? Yeah, get, get to cover. Do not reload in the open. Oh! Oh, nice. I'm really liking this gun. Shoot at them. There's only two. Go ahead. Oh, I missed, missed. that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. What the hell is even that? <laughs> You never said to hit them, you just said to shoot them. Andy, this glove mouse is actually really good. I'm surprised it actually works. Alright, so now that it's calmer, what the f are we talking about? Mouse glove? <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll kill the charger. Why get a real force glove then? Oh, what the? Andy, you killed me. <laughs> I killed you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this our charger, yo. Okay. Do you have your auto cannon yet or no? Uh, I have it, but I don't have the backpack. Okay, I'm gonna drop it now then. You want some auto cannon? Oh my god, please, yes! That's all I want all the time! Right here. All right, thanks. Uh, oh. So, do you sell the super samples? This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. Uh, oh my god, f*** this. Goddamn fire. Oh, I don't have my backpack. God damn it. What? I, I just dropped no. the thing. What the? What? What? What the f***? Get them! Get them! Yes. Have a taste of democracy! Democracy! What the fuck? me alive! So this glove works okay for gaming, but how well does it perform for everyday tasks? To find out, I'll be testing our new glove controller for circuit design and 3D modeling, as well as for programming. I hate programming with a passion. First up is schematic and layout design for circuits, and I'm gonna be honest, the glove worked a lot better than I expected. I can zoom in and out while also moving the views around without issues for both schematic and layout, and I can also move and place components with traces pretty easily. CircuitCat gets my stamp of approval. Next up is 3D modeling, and this was a 
bit more difficult. Unlike our circuit design software, there's a lot of buttons I need to access for creating 3D bodies since I don't know a majority of the keyboard shortcuts for 3D modeling. And even with all the fixes that we previously implemented for our glove, it's still hard to click with pinpoint accuracy using it. So I'm going to give it an okay rating for this one. Our last test involves programming, but uh, not much to say since I rarely use my mouse for programming. Overall, programming using the glove gets a meh rating. All right, I hope you guys had fun watching this video. And as some of you may have already guessed, I'll be using this glove in my second channel, Just Kim Live, to play Fortnite and some more Helldivers too. So make sure to subscribe. Link will be in the description. As always, thanks for watching and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. See you next time.